You won't get very far on a bike ride if you don't carry enough food. And while Jersey pockets are fine for one or two hours maybe, for a longer all day ride, then you need to think about carrying extra food and your bike is a really good place to do that. And in this video, I'm gonna share two methods that work really well for me and might just well work for you if you've got some longer rides planned this summer. Now the reason for carrying extra food on the bike comes down to you might be riding in a place where there aren't shops. We can't guarantee there'll be shops. You're riding through a night where there definitely won't be any shops or coffee shops open, or you just want the independence to ride unsupported with enough food to get you through from A to B for however long your challenge ride is. And thankfully, the choice of bags has really exploded in the last few years with the advent of bike packing and events like the TCR, the Transcontinental Race, giving us a huge choice of bags. Uh, we've come a long way since panniers and leather saddlebags were the de facto choices for long distance cyclists. So now loads of choice to suit the size of your adventure, whether it's a one day or a seven day challenge with overnight stops. But I'm gonna show you two bags which are ideal for fast and light riding and ideal for a single day, no overnight stop rides where you're doing 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers, 300 kilometers, how far you're riding in a single day give you more capacity than your jersey pockets alone. So let me show you through two bag systems. My favorite system for the last few years has been the handlebar bag like this one here. Now I'm not recommending this actual bag. There are many on the market which follow the same cylinder design. And the key benefits are that it's really easy to attach to the handlebar. You've got two Velcro straps there and a stabilizer on the back to stop it moving around. And the number one benefit is that you're not gonna scratch your lovely paint job on your frame it sits free away from the head tube, hanging it off the handlebars. So plenty of space in there. You get lots of food in here, uh, jackets. You get a small camera in there. Lots of space for all the food and a few essentials you're gonna need on a typical all day ride. You've got pockets on the side on this bag and a little straps there as well for attaching extra bits and bobs. So nice and stable, it's lightweight. It fits that fast and light mantra I like when I'm doing long all day rides. A couple of downsizes where you get the mickey taken out of you because um, it's a bit hipster. If you've got an out front mount, it can get in the way. And it's not super easy to reach into the bag when you're riding along. You sort of need to stop, uh, get your, your bar out or whatever it might be. So there are pros and cons to the system, but it's light, it's easy to fit. You can take it off uh, with no trouble at all. You don't need any special tools or brackets to attach it. So really easy. So there are loads on the market. They're pretty affordable as well. and you get used to the looks. So that is one of my favorite systems and that's my go-to choice for when I'm doing an all-day ride these days. The other really good bag, which I recommend if you're doing an all-day ride and you need extra space than your jersey pockets alone can provide is a top tube bag like this one here. Loads on the market again, loads of brands doing top tube bags. They're popular with triathletes as well, but really popular with bike packers and adventure riders because the main benefits are you've got really easy access to your food on the move so you don't have to stop. You can easily get your bars out, no problems at all. It's small, compact, and much more aero than the handlebar bag as well, if that matters to you. And if you're going fast, then that will do. It's really easy to fit as well. I've got two Velcro straps on the top tube and one around the stem. The only problem I've found with some of these top tube bags is that the Velcro around the stem can be a little bit fiddly to fit. You need a few spaces on these stem, ideally, to get a really good fit. And there are a lot of gravel and adventure bikes now that have two bolts on the top tube, but there aren't many bags as yet that accommodate that two bolt interface. Most use the Velcro, which is much easier to fit. Now downsize is you risk scratching your frame. So you might want to put some helicopter tape on the frame to protect your paint job. Although the Velcro here is soft padded, so it should minimize the scratching. And you don't have a massive amount of capacity in this bag. This is quite a small one, admittedly. There are bigger bags, but it's better for a couple of bars. You don't have a huge amount of space for a waterproof jacket in there, say, or have a bits and bobs where you do in the bar bag. But again, really easy to fit. And if I'm doing a really, really long ride, then I might combine this top tube bag with the handlebar bag, put the food I want easily accessible in the top tube bag, and jackets and extra clothing in the bar bag, especially if the weather is gonna be changeable, which it often is in this country. So two really good choices bar bag, top tube bag, uh, either separately or both together, depending on your requirements. They're also super lightweight as well, don't add much weight to the bike, which is good. And they're also easy to fit and remove with no special tools or brackets needed. 
just Velcro straps, no special tools or brackets needed. And you can use these on pretty much every bike out there. Even aero handlebars aren't a problem for the handlebar bag with enough Velcro to get around even the widest aero handlebars. Now, if you're planning a really long ride or you like to carry lots of food and spares or you're doing an overnight stop, then these two bags might not provide enough capacity. You might have to look at a frame pack or a seat pack. But for single day rides with no overnight stops and you like to travel fast and light, then one or both of these bags I think would be ideal for your needs. Now, you might have your preferred system and I'd love to hear about it. So get down in the comment section below and let me know what you prefer to use when you're doing a long all day ride. Is it a frame pack, seat pack, handlebar bag? Let me know down below. But these are my personal recommendations based on many years of testing products and doing long all-day rides mainly and making mistakes along the way and trial and error. But these hopefully will provide you some uh, useful information if you're in the same boat as me, wanting extra capacity to carry food on a long all-day ride. There we go then, two really good tips, in my opinion, for carrying extra food and essentials on your long all-day epic adventures. If you've got your own systems or methods, then let me know down in the comment section below. And also, what adventures are you planning in the summer? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear about them. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy watching it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you all again soon.